Hey everybody, it's Katie. Today's video is going to be on getting your body back to a new normal after having a baby. Today is a very special day because one of my best friends just had a baby boy last night, so today's video is dedicated to her. And we're going to talk about getting your body back to a new normal. Part of the reason this is so special to me outside of my friend is that these are things that I wish that I would have known before I had my first baby. And then with the second baby, things kind of coming full circle. So I want to share with you today the things that have been really helpful for me. The very first thing that I think we should address is healing. So you've come home, you've had your baby. Now, whether you had your baby vaginally or you had a C-section, the very first thing that you have to do to get back to somewhat normal is heal. Um, that's obviously the very first thing. That's going to look like a couple things, and it's pretty obvious, but I'll mention them anyway. First is rest, sleep. Get as much rest as you possibly can, um, and right along with that comes accept help. You likely have family, friends, a community around you that want to help you. Um, like my girlfriend who just had her baby, she lives in another state, and I'm like, I wonder if I could fly there. <laughs> and hang out with her and help her you know be because that's just, she's my friend I love her and I want to do whatever I can to support her in this transition so it's likely that you have people around you who are offering help to you accept it swallow that pride or whatever it is it's funny I can't even really put my thumb on it whatever it is that's saying like oh you got this no let people help you <laughs> and then the last part about healing is figure out um, do some research. We've actually done quite a few videos on postpartum and healing. There are products out there that will help um, help you heal faster, that will ease the discomfort that you are very likely to be in after, you know, birthing a human. Regardless of which way they came out, you're, you're probably going to be uncomfortable. So there are products out there that can help. As you heal, it's important to understand that it's unlikely that your body will ever be the same after having a baby. <laughs> now I say this um, it kind of in the broad scheme of things like I'm not really necessarily talking about stretch marks or I mean whether you got them or whether you didn't. Obviously that's part of it but there are a lot of things that happen to your body that we don't really necessarily see and even know about. Obviously there's like, there's the mental part. You're never going to be quite the same because you're a mommy and your heart has changed. Your everything your life has changed uh, your hips are in a different place probably <laughs> mine are and um, so there's there's definitely going to be body changes that happen um, and then there's also things like for me I can't eat eggs my body just decided when I was pregnant with my first that you, I went from having eggs you know a couple times a week in the morning to it tasting like a mix of dirt and sewage and then so th that was obviously a no. But so after I had my first, I thought, oh, I can go back to having eggs. And so I had a nice big breakfast and scrambled eggs. And my stomach was like, no, 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 you shan't be eating that again. And I, as I have experimented over the last six and a half years in hopes that I could add eggs back in, my body's just like, nope. So awesome that there's that as well. <laughs> My encouragement for you that despite these things and despite the fact that your body has likely changed is that you give grace to yourself and to your body in this new season. Remember, and I know that it's been said, there's a, there's a lot of encouragement out there that says, remember, you birthed a human. You were the vessel that carried human life. And there's an amazing poem. It's called Eve Has Been Redeemed. And we'll put the um, information down in the description below if you want to watch the video. But there's a part of this poem and it says, no man nor any angel has ever had the privilege. And they're talking about the privilege of carrying and birthing life. Now, I realize that, you know, for the first few days to weeks after birthing a child, you're like, this doesn't feel like a privilege. <laughs> and I get that. I didn't feel very privileged after birthing either of my children in the sense that I was, you know, I didn't feel good and my body felt like I'd gotten hit by a train. But looking back and from where I sit right now, and in the grand scheme of things, it is a privilege um, to be able to carry life and to birth a human. You know, you think of the, that it starts off as um, fun, and then nine, nine, ten months later, you, you, you've, you've grown a 
human, a little human baby. So give yourself grace out there. And there's there's noise in the world that expects a lot out of you and expects things to be a certain way and for you to bounce back and for all these things. So my encouragement is to give yourself grace and to go about this process of getting back to a new normal um, slowly and with thoughtfulness, not necessarily, you know, I've got to I have to get back to, you know, everything has to be just as the way it was. No, 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 no. Give yourself grace to start into this new season with it looking different than it did before and to be okay with that. The next part of getting back to a new normal and getting your body back to a new normal is to either return to old healthy habits or create new healthy habits. So if before you had your baby, if you were active and you were out doing things, Um, start to look towards resuming those activities when you can. Now, I understand that, you know, we have to heal. And that was why we talked about that first, is healing, your body has to actually be ready. Because if you start pushing yourself before you're ready, then um, there's there's a larger chance for burning out because you're exhausted. And then also you don't want to, you know, if it's too close, you don't want to start bleeding and because it, your body does actually have to heal. There's an open wound in there <laughs> that has to heal. So uh, as soon as you've healed and you've gotten kind of the go ahead from your care provider, um, start to be physically active, go back to those healthy habits. And if you weren't doing that before, this is a perfect opportunity to introduce a new healthy habit. I, um, with both of my girls, I worked out, I would go to the gym. My husband is really um, physically fit and he's at the gym a lot. And so I would be at the gym with him as well. Well, when I had, uh, well, both of my babies, I wasn't ready to take them to the gym with me. And so I, but I knew that I needed to start getting some exercise and I wanted to get outside because I was going stir crazy. So with both of my girls, I would go for walks. I would either put the baby in the pack, like the little carrier, or I would put the baby in the stroller. And my second born hated the stroller with a passion. And I'm still not quite sure why. It was like the most comfy ride ever. I don't know, weird kids. (laughs) She hated it, but she liked being in the pack. So that's what we would do. We would put her in the pack and we would walk. And it was nice because I was getting exercise, I was getting out, I was getting fresh air, and I was also out of my house. I was looking around, I was able to wave to neighbors, and inevitably there would always be someone out that would chat with me or or whatever, and I met a lot of my neighbors that way. And that was kind of just the, the lead into me eventually getting back into the gym and getting back into my my exercise routine that I love so much. If the gym is not necessarily your thing, that's all right. There are also a lot of classes, depending on where you live, there's classes that are like baby and me classes and you can do um, like a, some sort of physical exercise class with your baby. And so it's a great opportunity to get out and um, to meet people that are probably in a very similar season as you. So a good way to meet friends and create community around you and also a good way to get out with your baby and do something. And uh, again, remember this is getting your body back to a new normal, not necessarily always going to be easy, but as soon as you're healed and ready to go, the, the sooner you get out and start getting to do human adult things again and learning how to do that with your baby, I feel like, at least for me, that was when I started to feel normal again. Um, it, it's a little different because you have a little person that you have to think about, but I also started to feel like I wasn't just this milk feed machine <laughs> that it, with a screaming baby that pooped and, you know, I started to feel like, okay, I'm I'm a human, I'm a, you know, a woman, like I'm a wife, I, I have friends, there's people over there, hello, human adult that I'm talking with and not just, okay, baby, you know, I started to feel like a human again once I got out and started doing these things. We have a Facebook page. I'm not sure if you have checked us out in that area yet, but if you haven't, I invite you to check us out. It's just the KT Files. We post daily content on there, and so we'd love to have you join us and drop a line, say hello. Sometimes I post pictures and 
funny stories or mom fails, I do that too sometimes. So we'd love to have you join us in that area. If you liked our video today, please give it a like, a thumbs up. That's always encouraging for me. And I'd also like to invite you to be a subscriber if you are not already. If you are a subscriber and you click on the little bell icon, you will get notified when we put out a new video. And that happens every week. We post a video every week. So if you'd like to join the KT Files family, I'd be honored to have you join us on our journey. And yeah, I think that's it, you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful day and congratulations to my sweet friend and all you other sweet mamas who have just had babies. I wish you the best. Congratulations. See you soon. Bye.